All right, Phil, thanks so much. As we turn our calendars to March, spring is getting closer, and that means shanties now must be off of the ice in many parts of our area. The order covers all of the lakes south of Highway 64, and that includes Lakes Winnebago and Butamore. Although the deadline was today, some shanties are still out there on the lakes. More specifically, they are stuck out there, frozen to the lakes. Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo explains. Jeff Berholtz is using his portable shanty to fish on Lake Butamore. He says it's one way to avoid getting his regular shack stuck like this one. Well, I don't know. He should have got it out sooner. I know uh, it happens, though. Glad it, mine's off. <laughs> That's why I come with this. Don Herman with Sunk Dive and Ice Service has pulled out a few frozen shanties already, but he says this one takes the cake. This is probably the worst one for this year. One good way to tell how far into the ice the shanty's gone is by looking at the tire. That tire's into the ice about a foot. It's froze right into the 32 inches ice. So there, there isn't any water in between. According to Herman, the weather is to blame. When we got a warm up and rain last month, the ice melted a little, the shanty sank into the water, then it froze solid. But this isn't the only shanty in a predicament, so the DNR is giving anglers more time. To give our hotline a call and, and let us know, and you know, we're willing to work with those folks, understanding the conditions they're dealing with. That's exactly what this shanty's owner did. Herman says he and his crew will have to cut a nearly 10,000 pound block of ice out to get the shanty out. They won't be able to do it until later this week. We want it to be about 15, 20 degrees. So we're not freezing up all our equipment. But Herman says this is a cautionary tale. All you had to do is come out the day it was raining, hook on it and pull it out of here. It's all you had to do. But, you know, guys get busy. You know, people get busy and that's what happens. In Amro, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. Now the anglers still are able to bring their portable shanties back out onto the ice during the day to fish, but they must remove the structures by nightfall.